Welcome again to Kids Art Fun. Today, we're going to draw the Earth as if we were in space looking down on it. So, here's planet Earth and how to draw it. Of course, we're going to start with a nice round circle. Notice how you put your hand on the first part of the circle on the paper to hold it in a perfect curve, and then you carefully draw the other side to match. And these are some of the continents on the planet. We're not drawing them exactly as they look. We're just drawing them approximately to give you the idea. And those are going to be colored green because they're the ground with trees and so on. Now we're drawing the moon, which is revolving around the Earth in space. and all the stars. They could be all different sizes. And all around the Earth, because the Earth is floating in space. Okay, now let's see what we're going to do for colors. As I said, there's the green of the land. First, we're outlining with a stronger green, a little darker green, all around all the continents. And you do that carefully, just kind of inside the black line where we drew the continents first. Hold that paper, don't let it fly around. Okay, now we've got them all outlined, so the nice and strong definition of the continents against what will be the blue water. And now we take a lighter green and color that in. And when it gets bigger, you can use faster and longer strokes. Careful not to go off into space there. Just get the globe, just the color, right to the edge of the globe. And to the edge of the darker line for the continent. So that's it. We've got all the continents filled in lush green trees that are growing everywhere. Now, the water, the oceans, a nice light blue color. And be careful to get it around the little edges and so on. There's a lot of oceans on our planet. In fact, the majority of the planet is covered with water ocean water. Okay, it gets a little trickier in between the continents. And just put in the blue. Now our oceans are really what makes life possible. Life started on this planet in the water. And the oceans are really important to try to keep them clean and keep all the sea life alive. just finishing up the oceans. Of 
Alrighty. Now we're going to make the gray color of the moon, that kind of silvery gray that the moon seems to be when it's in the sky reflecting the sun. Because you know, of course, that the moon, we can see it because it reflects sunlight. It doesn't glow itself. It's the light from the sun bouncing off the moon that we see. And be careful to color around the little shapes that we made in the moon, because they'll be a little darker to give it some definition. Because when you look at the moon, of course, you see all these different shapes. And many people think they see a man's face, and that's why they call it the man in the moon. And a little lighter on the side to give it depth. Okay, now we're going to fill in the blackness of space. Now we start around the globe so we get a nice dark edge right up next to the Earth. And space is quite empty. There's not a lot up there. On our planet, there's lots of stuff. But in space, there's not much. And it's very cold because there's nothing there to be warm. When the sun hits our planet, it makes the planet warm and the atmosphere warm. But in space, it's quite empty. Now this is a tricky part. You're gonna have to use a smaller pen, but right now just do generally around the stars and don't color close to them. Because we're gonna go in with a smaller pen to clean that up. This fat pen helps us do it faster. So you see, you just leave a little block there open. And we color around the bottom. Pretty soon we're done with the big pen. Hey, there's the little pen. Now you see, we color into the stars so we can keep that shape nice. You gotta be careful just to get right up close there. This may take you a little time. If you have to pause the video, you can and get the black right in and there you go. You see how nice and clear that is? But you have to have a pen with this nice small point. And then you can get in there. And some of the stars are just little dots of light because remember, those are the stars that are the farthest away stars that are closer sparkle a bit more and the light is stronger. If you did all the stars in the sky, you'd basically spend your whole life putting little stars on the picture because there's billions and billions and billions of them. But we're just doing a few stars just to give you the idea for the picture. Remember, a picture is not a photograph. A photograph is very real, it's exactly what you see. A picture is an interpretation. It's our idea of what something can look like and drawn in a way that makes it pretty and nice for us to express a different way of looking at that image. And of course, most of us have never seen the Earth from space. So we're just kind of imagining what it might look like and then making a picture of that. So we'll color in the rest of these stars and then put in these little black lines to imply that space goes on and on, off the page and into infinity. We're just a tiny speck in our galaxy and our galaxy is just one amongst millions of galaxies in the universe. So, there we have it. Just finishing up 
and we have a lovely picture of our Earth as we imagine it from space. Thanks for joining us and drawing the Earth from space, and come back for more Kids Art Fun. Don't forget to subscribe.